Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Are you ready? Are you ready? Today we are going to do a little like office tour slash supply video. On my boutique like how I got started video, a lot of people requested that I show you guys what we use. Um, I work at home, we have a home office that I literally run my entire business out of. And Haley is here with me today. We just actually were on TikTok Live. We started doing multiple lives a week and we've been really enjoying doing that. Definitely go follow our TikTok page. I will have all of our like social media pages linked in the description. I'm gonna quickly run through what I use and I will make an Amazon storefront and link it for you guys who are curious because I do get a lot of my stuff from Amazon. I'm gonna hand the camera to Haley. She is going to film for me so that I can kind of walk you guys around and show you the office. It is a mess. As much as I try to keep it organized, it just, <laughs> with the amount of clothes, like inventory and the amount of orders we're getting right now per week, like we're so thankful, but it is just a mess in here all the time. It is what it is. <laughs> um, so just ignore that, but I'm gonna show you guys like the main things I use. I'm not gonna show you like each and every little thing because I think that could be like redundant, but I'm gonna show you guys the main things and then the things that I get questions about like more so than not. So I'm gonna let Haley take the camera and I look rough. I'm marinating in self tanner, so just ignore <laughs> that. Yeah, future video requests, leave them down below. Do we wanna do a QA? and a Oh yeah. So I think we wanted to do a QA and a next because we get a lot of questions on like me and Haley and like our friendship and just like about the business, how things run. Um, so if you guys have any Q&A questions, leave them down below. I, I'm whispering because Bowen is trying to take a nap. But without further ado, here's my home office. This is our little barn door that closes off the office space. And literally, like I said before you guys, it is a mess in here. So just please ignore that. But I love having my office right here off my entryway and Clearly you can see it is a hot mess, so please ignore that. I feel like the more that we're growing, the more I'm like reorganizing and finding like more systems to make it work a little bit better, but come on inside. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is my ring light um, because it's, it's sitting right here. So this is from Amazon. The ring light that we use, it's just a basic ring light. It has a phone holder attachment to it. It also came with a camera attachment. Um, it's from Amazon. I'll have it linked in my storefront. It's really nice. I don't want to bright you all, but you can like switch the modes like from warm tone to light to medium, whatever. That one's really nice, especially for the price. It was pretty affordable um, and we use it all the time. Every single live we use it. What I'm going to talk about is obviously the elephant in the room. <laughs> <laughs> my storage shelving are from Home Depot. They are the Husky brand. Um, can see it right there so they're husky brand um i think they're really meant for like garages like to be able to store like equipment and stuff like that but they're stackable and they're like 15 dollars a piece and they're pretty deep like i'll have Haley show you guys um they're like a foot deep so i can store a good amount of clothing in each of them right now i have them stacked like six high which is probably eight feet tall so you can see i have them super tall i do have to stand on a chair <laughs> to see the highest one but i recently like i started with like one or two like what would you call this like a stack yeah yeah i started with one or two and the more that we grew the more i added so now my entire wall is um full of them and then i just added this one over here <laughs> so I like quite literally cannot add any more in this room unless I get rid of my desk, which is a possibility. <laughs> um, but yeah, I will have them linked. Um, like I said, they're from Home Depot. They're the Husky brand. I get a lot of questions on these and that is where those are from. The next thing we're going to talk about is my branded sign. I get questions on this a lot. It's from Etsy. I will have the exact one linked below. Um, I think it's a 24 by 36 size and then I chose the hardware, which is gold. And then the logo you just upload to them and then they send you like a proof. I think you can get one that's like colored behind. It's not like see-through like this one. I wanted see-through. Um, but you can like customize it however you want. Next thing we'll talk about is my clothing rack. I'm not going to talk too long about this because you can literally buy clothing racks anywhere. This one's from Amazon. It's gold. Um, it's pretty nice. We hang all of our new arrivals like stuff that needs to be shot um, on this rack. We're going to talk about my packing desk. I think... 
pretty much my packing desk and my Husky shelving is like the two most popular things I get questions on. Also Husky brand. Um, it is also from Home Depot. Um, also it is a mess, you guys. We just did a packing live, so we have lots of <laughs> packing supplies everywhere. But it's really nice. It is adjustable. The height is adjustable. So you literally just turn this knob and it raises up and down. Um, I raise it up when I'm packing orders and then I put it down when I want to sit at the desk. These drawers pull out. So we keep all of our tissue paper here. Um, my tissue paper is from Amazon. I do get questions on that as well. And I use the size um, 20 by 30, I think, is what I use. And then, let's see, while we're here, we'll talk about my poly mailers. So my branded poly mailers look like this. Um, these are from Sticker Mule. They are great quality. They are pricey, but they're worth the price. If you're able to do branded poly mailers, it obviously like makes your brand and your packages a lot more professional. Um, definitely invest your money into these because they're really nice. I only keep a couple sizes of the branded ones though because like I said, they're very expensive. So I use these and then I use these poly mailers. These are from Amazon. They're also great quality. They're very thick. Um, I have used poly mailers from Amazon that are not as thick and not as nice quality, so I don't want to show you guys those because I don't recommend them, but I do recommend these, so I will have, this is from Sticker Mule, like I said, all of my branded stuff is from there, um, and then these are from Amazon, so I'll have them on my Amazon storefront. Next supply is my thermal printer, it is from Amazon as well, it is the Mun, brand, Mun Bin brand, um, you can get multiple different brands. It also has, um, this brand also has the sticker label holder available, which I did buy separately. I'm going to have it all in my storefront for you guys so you can easily find it. I literally just attach the roll of blank stickers onto the holder and then feed through the printer. I make my design for my stickers on Canva and I print, or like I save it to my computer and then I use the printer to print them. Let me show you guys actually to keep in mind if you do a thermal printer is they only print in black ink i was not like 100 percent aware of that when i bought my thermal printer but it ended up working out i've made a couple different sticker designs with it but this has definitely been my favorite and it's these holographic so you can see it like gives the sticker the prettiest little writing so, like I said, I designed the sticker on Canva, and then I saved the design to my computer, and then I just feed the blank stickers in there, and it prints it out really fast. Um, that is one place that I try to save money with my boutique, is not buying branded stickers. Maybe one day we'll be able to do that, but so far these have worked really well, and I think that they really add like a fun little touch to the packaging. So this is a boring supply, but you guys said you want to see everything, so <laughs> this is my tape gun. It's from Amazon. I really like it. Um, it doesn't come with the tape. You actually have to buy that separately. And I will have my tape and the tape dispenser gun linked on my storefront. You literally just feed it in there and it does exactly what it sounds like. It like dispenses the tape so you can tape boxes really fast and really easy. Um, but yeah, that's that. Next up is an item that most people wouldn't think you need, but it's a scale. Um, this is from Amazon. I will say after having this, I would suggest getting a scale that has like the screen. You can get one where it's like detached on like a rope and so that way when you place large packages onto it you can still see the weight because I have ran into issues with this. If I place a big box on it, I like cannot read the screen. This one's really nice. I'm still going to link it for you guys. If you are shipping out large packages, I would just get one that has like a tail attached. It looks like a tail. I don't know how else to describe it. but. Yeah, I will also have this one linked though. Next up are my packing cards. I get questions on them a lot, like whenever we're doing our packing lives, like where I get them from. They are from um, Vista Print. I get all of my printed stuff from there. Um, you do have to design your own design or you can purchase one of their templates, but I make all my designs on Canva. I have a Canva Pro account that I pay for. And then I download them onto my computer and upload them to Vista Print. This is what our spring packing cards look like. Um... We'll see if it'll focus for you guys, but it's like a ditzy floral print. There you go. We just made these. I'm super happy with how they turned out. They also match our poly mailers, which was intentional. Good quality. If you can invest um, in packing cards, definitely do them. Um, you don't have to do packing cards. If you're just starting out, you can get like pre-made ones off Amazon. 
But yeah, these are really nice to have. Dynamo label printer. So this is from Amazon. You can get it from multiple different places. Um, I've had her for quite some time. She works really well. Um, you just put the paper in there and it feeds out. Yeah, I don't really have much to say about it. It's really nice. I haven't really had any issues with it. I will link the exact one that I have on Amazon. It's the Dynamo 4XL. <laughs> the next thing that I get the most questions on, it's my tape dispenser. Um, I did not start out with branded tape. This was something that I invested in once we got going and like I had enough money saved up to be able to do that. Um, but this dispenser is actually from Amazon. It doesn't come with the tape. You have to buy it all separately. So I will have it linked on my Amazon storefront. It's really fun and adorable to look at. Um, it matches my tape and everything too, like if I had display it in my live. But um, you just use it. It's a water activated tape dispenser. You put water down in there and then this sits on top. And then when you feed the tape through, it gets it wet basically and activates the glue. Um, my tape is from Sticker Mule. Like I said, all my branded stuff is from Sticker Mule. Um, I just uploaded my logo onto there and then they send you a proof. But yeah, this setup works really well. I tape all of my boxes with my branded tape. Um, I only put one piece of the branded tape on the top though. That way I don't like waste a bunch because it is expensive. But if you can invest in branded stuff, like I said, it really helps your packaging look like professional and well done so I highly recommend doing that last but not least I'm going to talk about some of my packaging my other packaging other than poly mailers they are boxes and you can buy boxes literally anywhere pretty much literally Walmart and each boutique will probably or like company will probably use a different brand whatever your favorite is I typically get my boxes from Amazon or from Uline I actually prefer to buy them from Uline um, because you can buy them bulk for a little bit cheaper of a price However, I feel like Uline takes a little bit to come in. So when I'm in a crunch, I just order them off Amazon. I get two different sizes. I have like a large box and then I have a smaller box for like smaller shoes and stuff. So I do the 12 by 12 by 10 box. Um, and I can show you guys. Actually, there's one right here. So here, this is the size of that box. Actually, like folded up how it's supposed to be and then I'm, I'm not going to grab this box but it's just my smaller box size it's a 12 by 10 by 8 um so yeah I have two different box sizes maybe we'll get like more but so far that's been working really well I haven't really like had to have any larger boxes I think there's been like a couple times I've had to do a couple boxes for big orders but for the most part those work really well okay, so that is pretty much it as far as like all the supplies the main things that I use to run the business from my home um, I'm gonna go through I have my phone right here and I'm gonna go through some of the questions you guys left on my video my how I started an online boutique video I asked you guys to put any questions you had there and I'm gonna try to go through them and answer like quick questions that are on the supplies um but we are going to do a separate q a for me and Haley, so i'm going to say some save some of the questions for then but let's go ahead and go through a lot of people wanted a supply video so hopefully this was helpful for you guys anyone who wants to also start an online boutique hopefully this shows you what you may or what you may not need um like i said every boutique is different so if you use something different you can still be just as successful but you just find the things that you like to use you guys, look at these orders we just did on live. So many orders. It's literally so, mm -hmm. like, I love looking at it. the pile. Okay. So, someone said, this is from Alicia. So proud of you. Are you still using just two wholesale vendors? So, um, actually, that's, like, a whole other topic I could talk about. But I actually use two websites. So Fair and Fashion Go are like the actual wholesale marketplace. And then the vendors that are within those marketplaces are what they are. And I use a lot of different vendors. So I probably use like, I would say 10. I have like 10 favorite vendors that I use. Um, but there are times that I purchase like from other vendors as well. Um, so not just two, but those are the Fair and um, Fashion Go are the two different marketplaces I do use. Um, for my photo shoot, can I do a flat uh, surface instead? I'm not ready to hire. Um, you could totally do that. Like I said, you kind of just find like what works for you. The only thing I will say is um, 
as far as like driving someone to a point of purchase it might be hard to do it without having someone actually wearing the item because i feel like a lot of people want that visual on how the item looks on a certain person or like a certain size um or just in general they just want to see what it looks like um not on a hanger so that could be an issue you might run into but you definitely can do a flat lay um that has worked for other boutiques in the past so i would just say to try it and see if it works it's like questions related to this video i think those were the only two i see um someone said would love a video on products you purchase favorite vendors what you learned not to do um i will say i've only been in business for five months so i'm still learning myself um there definitely have been vendors that i order from that i will not order from again i feel like that's more so like just trial and error and that's something you'll have to learn whenever you go to buy your own wholesale inventory um but i will say one thing i definitely learned was to make sure to read the reviews of the vendor you can sometimes get lucky and find a vendor that's new that's good that just doesn't have a lot of reviews but for the most part a good vendor will have a lot of good reviews so definitely look at reviews before you order just like any other business or website but I think that's like pretty much all the questions I see related to this video. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully, like I said, it was helpful for you. If you have any other like specific questions, you can leave them in the comments or feel free to DM the business page. Um, I will have all of our social media handles linked down below as well as an, my Amazon storefront. I think I'm going to make an Amazon storefront on my like personal one and I'll just make like a separate little boutique section for anyone interested in those products i hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one bye bye are you ready are you ready